just one dollar donated to one of these top charities can do as much or more to help animals than a thousand dollars donated to an ordinary charity. Hey, so I imagine you're watching this video because you're someone that cares about helping animals and you want to know where can I be donating my hard-earned money and volunteering my valuable time to have as big of a positive impact as possible? What does it mean to have as big of an impact as possible? In this video, I'm going to focus on what we can do to prevent as much suffering as possible, which is a combination of the organizations that are impacting the lives of the most animals, as well as organizations that are protecting animals from the most extreme forms of suffering. Many of us, when we think about helping animals, tend to think about the animals with whom we interact the most and the animals whose suffering we see firsthand. We know the personalities of the dogs and cats with whom we share our homes, and it's easy for us to sympathize with strays that we see out on the streets or lots of in shelters. Similarly, when we see a bird struggling with a broken wing, it's easy for us to sympathize and to want to give to organizations that are nurturing these animals back to health. However, often the most widespread and severe forms of animal cruelty are not the ones that we commonly get to see firsthand. How then are we supposed to know what these best opportunities are? Fortunately, you're not the only one wanting to know the answer to that question. The organization Animal Charity Evaluators, sometimes called ACE for short, was founded in 2012 to help with answering what charities are doing the best work to help animals. They have considered over 350 animal charities from around the world, and their staff of 20 experts on animal issues spends months collecting information from charities regarding their work and analyzing the impact each organization is having. You may be wondering, well, after all that, does it matter? Does the charity that I pick really make that much of a difference? And the answer is a resounding yes. The top charities recommended by ACE are thousands, sometimes millions of times as effective as a typical animal charity. Let me repeat that again. Just one dollar donated to one of these top charities can do as much or more to help animals than a thousand dollars donated to an ordinary charity. How are these top organizations able to achieve such a large impact? Let's talk about the top four charities that ACE currently recommends and how they're able to accomplish so much. The first charity recommended by Animal Charity Evaluators is the Humane League. The Humane League's mission is to end the abuse of animals raised for food, and they engage in a variety of programs designed to persuade individuals and organizations to adopt behaviors that reduce farmed animal suffering. The Humane League's largest programs encourage corporations to enact policies requiring better animal welfare standards, and they educate the public using outreach materials such as humane education presentations and online videos that can reach millions of people at low cost. Through their grassroots offices and campus leadership program, they're able to train new animal advocates to have a big impact for animals themselves. The Humane League also works to build the animal advocacy movement internationally through the Open Wing Alliance, a global coalition founded by the Humane League whose mission is to end battery cages globally which would end up sparing billions of animals each year from extremely cruel lives on factory farms. The Open Wing Alliance offers funding and training to advocacy groups interested in working on corporate campaigns that get major companies to adopt stronger policies, with each new commitment impacting the lives of millions of animals. Let's take a quick look at one of the Humane League's videos recruiting more animal advocates from around the world to get involved in their impactful campaigns.
With actions like the one shown in this video and other videos exposing the cruelty in major corporations' supply chains, the Humane Link has succeeded in getting massive companies including Subway, Starbucks, Walmart, and Costco to adopt better standards. ACE's next recommended charity is the Good Food Institute. To explain what the Good Food Institute does, let me first paint a picture for you. It is 1884 in New York City, and you are horrified by the terrible conditions that horses in the city find themselves in. They are whipped, forced to work long hours, often neglected, tied in uncomfortable ways. Their manure piles up on city streets, creating a terrible odor and public nuisance. They are commonly killed when they suffer from injuries from the work that is forced upon them. You set up a charity that cares for injured horses and tries to get laws passed, setting penalties for horse mistreatment. Over the next 50 years or so though, all of these problems would end up almost entirely disappearing. Not because your charity was able to start caring for all injured horses, or because the laws had gotten so strong that people were no longer mistreating animals. I wish. Instead, horses were no longer being used in these cruel ways because people had switched to better, cheaper, and more convenient options. The automobile and the subway. That is what the Good Food Institute is working to do with the most widespread forms of animal abuse that exist today. They work to transform the animal agriculture industry by promoting the development of competitive alternatives to animal-based meat, dairy, and eggs. They seek out entrepreneurs and scientists to join or form startups in the plant-based and cultured or clean meat sectors. Additionally, they provide business, legal, scientific, and strategic guidance for the companies working on the development of these technologies. Furthermore, they work on government regulations and laws to level the playing field for these startups and make it easier for their products to compete with established companies on the market that have set up the rules to make it difficult for themselves to lose their current market share. Finally, the Good Food Institute works with grant-making institutions, universities, corporations, and governments to get additional resources for research in plant-based and cultured meat. You've probably gotten to enjoy some of the results of their work, with delicious new plant-based food options showing up at not just supermarkets near you, but at most major fast food chains within the last couple years as well. And this impact is hopefully slated to grow in the years ahead, as long as the Good Food Institute is able to secure funding to continue running their impactful programs. Let's take a look at some clips from their Good Food Conference in 2019 that brought together all the major players currently working on technologies that will disrupt the cruelest industries to animals. We love this conference. We look for places that are incredibly broken, where there's a massive opportunity for impact and a massive opportunity for profits. And the food system fits that bill in every single way. The question that's facing us for all kinds of different reasons is can we allow people to eat the meat they want to eat, but can we produce it in a way that is more efficient, sustainable, and humane? This is the solution. The plant-based meat, the cultured meat. Everything in meat you can make from plants. It's really the right idea at the right time, so I'm really proud to be part of this conference. Where can you find a place with all the leading heavyweights in the plant-based movement, like right here? This is one of the highlights of my year. I, I love GFI, I love this conference. A conference like this where you combine plant-based with, uh, with clean meat solutions is great because there's a lot of overlap. Normally the way we grow meat is growing animal cells in an animal. The idea was to grow meat directly from animal cells without raising and slaughtering an animal. From a technological point of view it's fun to work on this. From a societal impact uh, point of view it's great to work on this. It's a new way, new day, that should be marketed as the way of the future. Top charity number three, the Albert Schweitzer Foundation. The Albert Schweitzer Foundation works primarily in Germany and Poland. Similarly to the Humane League, they conduct corporate outreach campaigns encouraging companies to eliminate cruel battery cages and make commitments to implement better welfare standards for chickens. They also focus on getting commitments to protect fish from some of the most extreme forms of abuse and commitments to providing additional and improved plant-based food options. As we discussed earlier, these top charities are able to have thousands or millions of times as much impact as typical animal charities. And one of the ways they're able to get ahead is by focusing on areas that impact a far larger number of individuals. 
There are on the order of 10 million cats and dogs being put down in shelters each year, sometimes using fairly painless methods of euthanasia, but tragically, the methods used are often still quite cruel. However, compare this to the roughly 50 billion chickens killed around the world annually, 5,000 times as the number of cats and dogs. For each cat or dog put down, a small city of chickens is losing their lives. And in most places, chickens are protected by almost no laws whatsoever. In the United States, chickens are not even covered by the minimal standards in the Humane Methods of Slaughter Act. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. The number of fish being killed by humans each year is on the order of 1 trillion, 100,000 times as many as the number of cats and dogs. Increasingly, these individuals are being factory farmed in cruel aquaculture pens, and few countries have passed even very basic laws protecting these sentient individuals from being slaughtered in all manner of cruel ways, including slow suffocation or being crushed under the weight of other animals. The Albert Schweitzer Foundation earns a spot as a top charity by keeping their focus on the effectiveness of their work and always looking for where their limited resources can be applied to have the biggest impact. Last but not least on our list of top charities is Anima International. Anima International formed in 2018 from the merger of two charities that were already having a big impact for animals in Scandinavia and Eastern Europe. Like the Humane League and the Albert Schweitzer Foundation, Anima International runs campaigns to get companies to commit to better standards. But on top of this, they run numerous ancillary programs to aid in the success of these campaigns. They release undercover investigations, engage in online and offline ad campaigns and outreach, organize protests, found and train animal advocacy groups, and organize conferences on animal advocacy and the legal protection of animals. Their leadership is particularly attentive to strategy and looks for ways to adapt or change their tactics to increase their impact, which is why their combination of media campaigns in support of their corporate outreach and policy work has proven particularly effective with 220 companies adopting cage-free policies as a result of their work since 2016. That's it for the list of the top charities for helping animals in 2020. Let me know in the comments below what charities you're donating to this year, and if I think your comment does the best job of defending why your choices are the most impactful, I'll be sure to pin it. Thanks for taking the time to watch this far. If you think this video should be seen by more people, please be sure to leave a like, and if you'd like to see more content like this in the future, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you all next time.